Who writes? When the officer asked the lady if she was a real EMT or firefighter, she was a trained person and recognized that something was wrong and even stepped forward to maybe assist. I thought the officer was going to let her, but instead warned her to get back on the sidewalk is just beyond me. I can understand why they wouldn't allow the rest of the people, but a trained EMT just don't understand that part of it. Renee Hill, what, how different would this have been if George Floyd, all of a sudden, not responding anymore, and the officers change what they do, and they try to well, revive him? Is this a different? Is this a different story? Is this a different case? Yeah, it, it's absolutely a different case. If they recognized, uh, you know, or stopped the actions that they were doing, if he took his knee off of his neck, if he tried to revive him, if he tried to give some sort of assistance to to acknowledge the fact that he was killing this man, because that's exactly what he was doing. But if he had stopped those actions and changed actions to try to assist in helping him, then it would be a different case. It certainly wouldn't be a murder charge uh, at that point. You know, there may have been an excessive force. There may have been the assault charges. Um, and then, of course, if Mr. Floyd still passed away, you know, it could have been just manslaughter charges. But this was murder. It, it, we can see that. But certainly it would be different if they had changed their actions. Judy writing tonight, bystanders could see what was happening. Man killed in front of them. Officers not paying attention to the crowd. Restraining a man that is no longer struggling. Lawrence, let me go same question to you. I, I, but I want to I put it this way. If after he's not responding... He's, he has passed away, and they try to revive him unsuccessfully. Does it change in your mind also? Because the actions that they took took his life. Um, you take someone's life, and then you try to revive him. Does that change the murder charge here? Would that change things in your eyes? It may give them a better argument to say it wasn't intentional. Look, we tried to save him with an accident. Maybe they come with an accident defense that you know, that maybe it was negligence. And oh my God, we're going to do CPR and get this EMT over here, do everything they can to save his life. And we see that it certainly gives them a much better defense than they have right now. They just didn't care, walked away, didn't let an EMT help. She said she was a fire a firefighter. And I think the timing is it would be still very, very important, depending upon how long, you know, they were kneeling on him and then, oh, my gosh, let me stop. Let me try to help him. But if they just continuously did it to the end and then said, oh, let me try to help him after, you know, he's already gone, then that's a big difference as well. Right. That's like, uh, you know, you got caught. Oh, crap. Let me try to fix it now. You know, right. that doesn't really change what you did leading up to that fact. Right. Edie tonight writing, people begging for them to get off him. They are wrong for not listening. They could have stopped. This is, um, from my perspective, Krista, this is a video that is going to get a jury so angry. So incredibly angry. I mean, the other videos are, are, are bad. I mean, and, and are awful. This one, though, it, it takes you to the spot and, and it almost puts the jury in the crowd with the rest of the people. Yes, it does. And, you know, it's the best eyewitness testimony you have, right? It is, it is uh, not someone trying to remember anything. You are watching it as if you were there. I think that that's why many of us cry or get so emotional when we watch this video. And, you know, of course, a jury is going to feel the same way. They're going to have that welling up of emotion in there and thinking, oh, my God, at all of these points along the way, everything could have changed and this could have been a totally different outcome. Could you imagine a world that this didn't happen? where this wasn't as bad as it was, you know, it, it, it just changed everything, that they wouldn't listen to anything. And they had to have known what they were doing. All right. Krista Ramey, Renee Hill, Lawrence Zimmerman, always great to have you on the program. Really appreciate it. Have a, a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much.